Well, hello YouTube. If you are here, you definitely want to turn your PC, probably old PC with the DVD drive, hopefully, into Android machine. I don't know your reasons, but let's say you want to experiment. So you need to use this website, androidx86.org, uh, to grab uh, appropriate ISO file. So you can burn it on DVD or you can burn it to USB drive using Rufus. Okay, so it, the thing is really simple if you didn't do this before. You just select here your ISO and then click on start down there and then there you go, you'll have bootable USB drive. So hopefully you will have a DVD drive and not CD because actual ISOs are, are a little bit uh, bigger than I thought originally that they are, but this is the thing. 32 bit ISO is 725 megabytes. I don't think that th that can be put on a CD. I don't know, I, I did this a long time before when I was messing around with CDs. Maybe there is 800 CD capacity, I don't know. But DVD will work, ISO uh, on uh, USB will work. So yeah, now I'm gonna use, where is that thing? I'm gonna use virtual machine here because it's easy for me to record this video and you probably wanna experiment on a real machine. So new machine and let's call it Android uh, VM and uh, Linux and uh, other Linux 64 bit, let's say. So next mm, memory, let's say four gigs of memory, virtual hard disk drive, next, 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 dynamic allocation, um, six gigabytes will be enough, I think. Let's go to settings and the system optical drive must be first. Display, we will max video memory. And this is crucial here. If you wanna use real Android, like graphical interface, you must enable here 3D acceleration and click here on VBOX VJ, okay? Because there is great chance that if you don't do this, you will just end up in terminal. You don't wanna do that. So let me check one more time. Right, so storage, uh, let's target here our ISO, x86, whatever, open, and audio, uh, enable audio input. Yeah, sure, why not? So I think that we are ready, steady, go. So start, and then I need to zoom that machine. If it boots, okay. Uh, Right, control C, and now I'm in scale mode. So let me arrange this a little better. Right, so installation, we need to install this on hard disk, virtual hard disk, uh, meaning first we need to create actual partition. So where is my mouse? Just a second, I always lose it. Anyway, so if you detect, uh, if you click on D and you could click on OK, you will not have anything here. So you must press C and OK to create partition. Here, click on no. And OK, so let's go to new, primary partition, uh, size maximum and SDA one. And we also need uh, to create it bootable. OK, so C flags. So that click here on enter. There you go, so flags boot. After that, we must save our changes. Go to right, press enter. Uh, are you sure? Type yes, okay, and then press enter. So writing partition table to disk, and this will be done in a split of a second, hopefully. Right, so that's it. Uh, let's get out from here, out. And there you go, now you have your uh, partition, virtual box, hard disk. Right, so let's press enter. Uh, file system, let me see, ext4, enter. Are you sure to format? Yes. Uh, let's see what's up. Do you want to install bootloader? Yes. Uh, blah, 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 yes. And this will be done hopefully in 10 seconds or something like that, maybe more. So that's pretty much it related to partitioning stuff. Now, after this is done, I need to change boot order of my devices. 
and that will be pretty much it then we will boot thing and uh, we will log into android so if you have internet connection through internet uh, uh, virtual uh, wi-fi will be created i will explain everything don't worry so it's virtual wi-fi it's not real wi-fi because you need to update stuff and so on install uh, something through google play and so on so reboot okay and let me just scale this down i'm gonna close machine power off that thing uh settings let's go to storage i'm gonna just in case delete this iso for some reason i have uh, you don't care about that so anyway storage no display system okay so hard disk must be first optical must be second one more time i need to check display v box 3d acceleration okay and hopefully hopefully we will have some kind of results here so let me see what's up right okay control c and there you go so i'm gonna choose first option we have boot and android must be on our screen in a couple of seconds uh come on come on come on okay so that's it now i need to close this here and maybe i will cut this video to a shorter amount of time right so first let's see do we have a finger when we cross uh, uh when we hover over start okay so that's cool i have activity here start and just a second what is this uh, update or something like that uh, i'm gonna skip okay connection for now it's totally up to you okay i don't want to waste your time you do know how to connect to virtual wi-fi uh, you'll just see icon here i don't want to <coughs> uh, use too much time on this so uh back the uh, reason is I don't want to <clears throat> update this system so continue or whatever I'm doing here I don't know continue so just a second I hate waiting anyway okay so next and uh, sometimes you need to type up <clears throat> press couple of times things here because this is emulation and it's kind of slow so yeah I don't want to send any kind of usage statistics for now and accept so i think that yeah so protection not now okay skip screen lock skip anyway just a second again some kind of updates but there is no uh, internet for right now so let me see what i'm gonna do here uh <clears throat> yeah let's just wait what's gonna happen <clears throat> right so we are in and i don't know i will choose quick step here you have see system loading and i'm gonna say always and uh, that's pretty much it so yeah now if you go to chrome everything will work fine but without internet so uh no accept and continue no thanks and no internet but i will fix that too just a second so yahoo and nothing anyway i'm gonna click here so connect to Wi Fi, Wi Fi, Wi Fi settings, and oh, there you go, virtual Wi Fi. So click connection, and the reason why I didn't like uh, to do immediately internet connection is I hate waiting for updates. Okay, that's that's the only reason so preparation for setup i definitely hate waiting 
And see, I need to wait to have this start button activated. And we are kind of cool, but I don't care about data, wallpaper and more, so I'll remind me later. Uh, remind me tomorrow, yeah, definitely tomorrow. Right, so uh, Yahoo will work now, I think. And there you go. I don't know how many updates are big in size these days. I just use two decades old old uh, mobile phone because I'm sick and tired of updates and installation and security problems and this and that. And yeah, and I'm also a little bit lazy. I don't trust these new devices too much because I don't, I, yeah, it's security concern. So anyway, this thing work, it works. And let me, let me navigate to Google. See, the response is very, uh, very slow, but this is virtual machine, this is Android. Uh, I just allocated four gigs of RAM, so it's not, it's not a real machine. So yeah, it is what it is. Okay, but everything works. Okay, so it's up to you right now to go, go to log into Google, uh, Google Play or whatever you do. Uh, yeah. Play Store, you need to log in, install Minecraft, whatever you like. I don't know. Can you play Counter Strike on this machine? I don't know. So, pretty much that's it. Um, sorry, I didn't set up internet connection immediately, but, I, but as I said, I was concerned with a lot of updates. So, if your machine works uh, on Android, if you can boot from DVD or USB, excellent. If you cannot do that. Well, my best advice based on uh, experience with my machines that I bought in a couple of two weeks and I bought a lot of them is just to drop the whole idea and install some old Windows or some small Linux. Okay, so there is a point in life and you say if something doesn't work after one try or, or second try, you just drop the whole idea. Or maybe I'm just getting older. I don't know, something like that. So anyway, thank you for watching as always, thank you for support and subscription, and see you next tutorial.